you watched last week's episode, you saw us sailing in Norrsund. We made a stop in Basebeck's ham before sailing back to Malmö. Behind me you see our new dinghy and Davids. We just picked them up and um, yeah, it's really exciting. So we're gonna have Davids on the stern of the boat, uh, which is gonna hold the dinghy. So when we're not using it, we will just hang it there. We'll be ready to launch. It's gonna go super fast. And for longer sails, we're still gonna keep it on the foredeck, we think, upside down, because it's just the safest thing to do. But this will be a great feature now when we start our cruising. Let's go out and take a look. So this is a high field classic 260. Uh, with aluminium hull. Uh, we used to have a high field ultralight, uh, the same, same length on the old boat. And the difference is that this one is a bit wider and it has a dual bottom, so you won't have wet feet. And you can store the fuel tank up front in that locker. And this one is rated for 10 horsepower. And the old one was only rated for six. So we can much easier go on a plane with this one uh, with more weight in the boat. And we'll keep it on these davits. I have decided to install the davits today and it's going to be a challenge because this surface, the stern of the boat, is convex in two directions. So it's not very easy to find the correct position of the brackets. So I guess I have to take a lot of measurements before I decide on where to put the drilling machine. As you can see I've already made some markings on the hull did that yesterday evening with the laser trying to align two points on the hull to yeah just to have an estimate on where a straight line would be it's not very easy with the laser when the boat is moving and obviously you can't use it as a what do you call it in english like a spirit level because yeah the boat is healing a bit and rocking back and forth uh, you can also see the line that I put across that was where the laser line was hitting but I'm pretty confident it will be okay these davits are from a company called um, called Boat System and they are movable davits so they fall down to the water and pick up the dinghy and then up again so you will clear the swimming platform so that's why it's very important to get them in the correct position. Otherwise, when they fall down, they will fall in, a, in the wrong direction. So when they are down the, to the water, the distance between them will be greater if they're not aligned. These brackets are made to mount on a convex surface, as you can see. And there's different holes to put the pin through so you get the correct angle on the actual arms for the davits uh, so it will be interesting i think the maximum angle you can have is 15 degrees and according to my calculations what i could 
measure from the stern of the boat. The angle should be around 16 to 17 degrees. So I think it should be all right. It's close enough. This is 15 and yeah. So let's hope for that. Otherwise, I have to put a piece of wood behind this, like a teak uh, piece of wood to make it make the angle greater than 15. So I'm ready to drill my first hole and it will be the one on the top on the outside first and I will just drill a pilot hole first to just make sure that I'm in the correct position on the inside of the boat as well and then I think I'm going to bolt the bracket in place with only one bolt first because with that in place it will be a lot easier to see if the arm is coming down uh, at the correct angle from the boat. So this is the moment of truth. Let's see if I <laughs> drilled in the correct position. Yeah, looks all right to me. Yeah, it's exactly where I wanted it to be. So it should, shouldn't be a problem to mount this at all. I'm really happy that we can mount it here. It makes it so much easier. This one is pretty easy to remove. It's only two screws. So I can pretty easily mount the bolts through here. One good thing with the, this installation is that the stern of the boat is not cored. That makes it a lot easier. It's just solid glass in the stern. Uh, because otherwise, if you, you want to seal the core uh, with like epoxy or something like that so you want if you have a leak in the future if it's cored it could be a problem that the water leaks in between the laminates so in this case when you're installing stuff it's a uh, much better when it's uh, just solid glass like in this case when working on the water it's crucial to tie everything with a rope to the boat to prevent it from disappearing into the abyss. We tied a rope to the davit, which I lifted with a winch in order to test mount it. I made a test mount just to see that, that everything is aligned and straight and to me it looks pretty good right now so I think we'll uh, just copy the position of these holes on the other side and uh, go ahead I mean it's always really hard to get the exact measurements on a boat but to me this is as close as possible and I think it looks looks good There are so many angles. You have this angle, you have that angle, and then you have a long arm. So of course, if something is not right in here, it will multiply out here. So, but I think we're pretty close and it looks straight, so. It looks really nice. It's always scary when you do these type of jobs where you have to drill holes in the bolt and if you, if you don't do it correct, there will be a hole, <laughs> an extra hole and then, um, yeah, so I have to go down again and do some editing, take care of her, <laughs> take care of her and you have to do this on your own now. <laughs> this is a, a little bit trickier nowadays when we have another person 
to do filming of the projects that we're doing the same time as I need to do computer work and we have her to take care of. So everything takes um, a little bit more time. <laughs> hey, Elskling. I'm a day. What did they do? Jordan. Yuan drilled the same holes on the other side and mounted the davit. Welcome to the crew, new dinghy, and we will call the dinghy R2D2, Ron 2 Dinghy 2. And we have, we've had four dinghies in total, but it's Highfield number two. So we thought this uh, name was so much, so funny. We got it um, from a follower as a name suggestion, R2D2. So we thought that's a great name for the dinghy. So the whole package in total with the outboard engine, and the dinghy and gasoline tank and some accessories uh, weighs around 110 kilos so it's uh, well below the maximum load of the dinghy uh, davits sorry because the davits uh, can take um, 300 kilos in total 150 each so it's well it's a good weight in that matter and um, it would be so much fun now with the uh, this outboard engine because it's 9.9 .9 horsepower so we're gonna be able to plane with it so we will easily plane with the three of us uh, in the, inside the dinghy and some extra stuff if we go and buy groceries so we will, we will go so much faster and it will be more comfortable as well I think we have a great setup now for uh, this summer's cruise when we'll be at anchor we can easily go uh, to land with the dinghy we can stay quite far away from land or if we want to go somewhere else and explore another island or a beach or go into another little town or village so um, yeah i think it would be a lot of fun our visiting boat neighbor filmed us as we were going for the first test run with the dinghy Vera was tired but as soon as the engine started she became quiet continue because they're doing some uh, work on the, the bridge over there so they've closed it so we can't go under it yeah we did it had to do a pit stop someone got very very sad <laughs> she was hungry yeah. She was uh, screaming, <laughs> screaming on the Malmö Canal. <laughs> Had to turn around and do a little pit stop over here. Now we have to go past that very angry swan uh, lady. We passed yeah. her on the way and 
we think she has uh, babies in the in the high in the grass and wow she really followed us and got really angry she was like she she had her wings up and her neck in a strange way and then she started flying afterward <laughs> after us i think we have to give some throttle when we pass now this time yeah. but uh, yeah first test was very good wait now go we move them man uh, this is very hard to do all at the same time. I think it looks great. Um, we could maybe shorten the lines on that side a bit, so it will be a bit more le in level. But this will be so convenient, not having to have the dinghy on foredeck, and uh, it will be easy to just pull it up, so you don't have to tow the dinghy behind the boat. And of course, on uh, longer passages, or when we know that the weather is going to be bad, we will put the dinghy on foredeck and the uh, outboard engine back here. Uh, so this is how we pull the dinghy up with this uh, block and pulley system. Actually this angle is not correct, uh, it should go straight out from the push pit. Uh, but we wanted to have the davits a bit higher um, because we want to have the dinghy uh, far up so we'll clear the waves. And also where the brackets are was the only place inside the boat where we could reach to put the backing plates and the, and the nuts. But this will be perfectly fine, it's just that it's a bit heavier to pull it up. And we will of course secure these arms while we're sailing down here, but also we will use one of the extra halyards to secure it. And we could use that as well to pull the davits up. And then in the future we will build an arch for solar panels here and then that will take care of this angle because then we will pull it up to the arch instead so it will be a lot easier uh, with that angle uh, also the width between the davits we wanted to have them as far out as possible so they will clear the swimming platform when they're folded down uh, and because of that the brackets on the dinghy was too narrow so we had to mount two extra brackets up here in the front so the lines from the davits would go straight down and always when we're sailing we will put lines in cross to keep it from swinging back and forth and rocking and also to keep it tight uh, towards the boat and, uh, yeah, and maybe we can keep the fenders in there as well in shorter passages we'll clear up some room in the anchor locker in front so, I'm really happy with this. Now we're all set for the summer. Thanks for watching and join us next week when we start our coastal cruising in Sweden. <laughs>